my channel if you're new here i am desi and we are back with another zara haul this haul is definitely very interesting and you guys will see what i'm talking about make sure you guys hit that like button comment and subscribe and let's go ahead and get off to this video i'm going to do something a little bit different this video and i'm going to pop up each piece on the screen here for you guys to see in contrast to how i actually work because sometimes i feel like holding it up like what's the point i rather show it to you how it looks online versus how i have it in person and let's start off with the very first piece so the very first piece that i'm showing you guys is this red dress i really like this red dress because it's definitely giving mrs claus i did get this dress in a size extra small it fits perfectly i love the material of it it is very thick but not too thick to where you're going to be hot i definitely would consider this dress to be more of like the hosting dress so the dress that you would wear for a christmas party i would personally wear this a little bit more casual for home so if you're trying to dress this up in the living room some chestnut ugg boots i think would be so cute so homely womanly and feminine is definitely giving mom vibes i don't know i just think it's super duper cute obviously red is something so different for me to show you guys as it's so bright and vibrant but for the holiday season you have to have something red I also saw that they had a red blazer as well in Zara, which I will pick up the next time to show you guys. But yeah, I think this dress is so super duper cute. It does have a mock neck detail, which I'm not dying over, but I appreciate it a little bit more than it being a turtleneck. So I'll take the mock neck. Like I said, the material isn't so thick that you're going to be super duper hot. And it does have a wow factor with the back of the dress having a cutout detail, which gives it that little bit of sexy that you need. It's a showstopper. It's so cute. It's so affordable. And I highly, highly recommend. Okay. The next piece that we're going to talk about is this camel blazer, camel or tan blazer. Not gonna lie i'm not dying over this you definitely don't need this it's my honest opinion what were they thinking about if you're gonna get it i would say i don't know i just don't recommend it because i love the color i love the autumnal tone i love everything about it the material is a little eh because it is fall and i'm just not sure how this resonates with the weather that i have because currently it's been teeter-tottering around 50 to 60 degrees and it is now heading into october so it's not the most wearable thing maybe if you live in la so Somewhere it's appropriate but I'm not dying over it. I did get the blazer in a size small and I got the shorts to match because they are matching sets but of course they are separate pieces. The shorts are just way too short. I can't get with the shorts. I cannot get with the shorts. I'm 5'2 and I still am like I don't like it. They're too short. Maybe if I would have sized up, then I would have sized up. It wouldn't fit around my waist. I don't know. I just don't, I'm not dying about this outfit. I could have sworn that when I seen it in the store that it was going to give everything that needed to be gave. I'm like, okay, this is going to be perfect. But no, it let me down for sure. Big time. Not a fan of it. I do not recommend you guys spend almost a hundred dollars or more on this two piece set. It's just not giving what needs to be gave. Unless maybe it's just, I gained some weight and it's just not hitting right. I don't like it. I don't like it. The shorts are too short. I don't like the texture of the pieces. I don't think it's appropriate for the season. Eh, I could pass on it. But how you guys see me styling it was pretty much something I just threw together really quick because I just was not feeling this outfit at all. So for the next piece that I got is this jean jacket. I love this jean jacket. Honestly, truly, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty sure this is my favorite piece in the entire haul because it's so basic. It's definitely giving vintage vibes, but this jean jacket has a little bit of a flair to it with the cutout detailing in the midsection. It's already a little bit cropped. I love the wash of this jacket, but I just really, really like how it does have the button strap kind of thing going around the front. I don't like it like that, of course. I like to wear it out kind of as if it was a moto jacket i just think it's so cute to pair with some nice denim jeans wear it casually wear it over the shoulders it's such a nice piece i did get it in a size extra small it is available on their website this piece i do recommend is definitely even trendy-esque but then again you can just add it to your collection of jean jackets because you can never have enough jean jackets for the fall time now as far as winter time they're a dub you need to let them go but you need this jean jacket to add to your repertoire of jean jackets Okay guys, so for the next piece that I got here, you guys know I love to test the waters with these leather leggings, but I'm not dying over them. The color, absolutely amazing, chef's kiss, perfect for the season. I even went and got a size medium. The last time I bought a pair of leather leggings, they were definitely a size small. I went and got a medium, still not giving. They're a little bit loose in the waist area. They fit on the thigh area. There's a little crotch gap thing going on. And then I also just really hate how cropped they are at 
the leg. It does have more of a raw hem to the pants leg, which I'm not sure of. I would say I like it, but I don't like it because the pants are very cropped. I'm 5'2", still too cropped. So I'm pretty sure they're not tall girl friendly. So I would not recommend or advise you guys to try that, but I'm really still waiting for that nice leather legging that's gonna fit snug in all the right areas, just like they would if they were regular leggings. I have not found that yet, but the color is amazing. Maybe if you are on the thinner side, they'll fit you perfectly. If you can fit to a size small, and you don't have any extra curvature or anything like that going on with your body, but I can't say that I recommend them. Once again, I did get a size medium this time and I'm still not wild, but the color amazing. And I just went ahead and I styled it with a button up. It is a men's button up from H&M. I did wear with a button up. I just threw a sweater over the shoulders, threw on some heels, a bag. It's kind of like I just made this very effortless fall fashion girly look. Not really an everyday look, but it's super duper cute. Yeah. So once again, if your body fits these type of leather leggings, I recommend because they're super duper cute, but they just don't fit curvy women or tall women properly. So I can't really recommend. Okay, so for the next piece that I got is this very, very nice top. This top is a tie top. Like it kind of ties around the front, you can wrap it around the back. It is a very soft material, which I love. I love things that are soft and don't make me feel too dry because we all know with the fall and winter air, your skin is going to get very, very dry as it gets colder. And I like the fact that this material is not itchy or anything like that. It's kind of a buttery, smooth material. It is in this ivory color, which is absolutely stunning. And I did pair it with those faux leather trouser pants that I just showed you guys and I think that those two tones together look absolutely stunning or with even a more creamier faux leather legging that will look nice with that as well you can even wear it with jeans you can wear it under your pea coats that will look super duper cute I really like this I would not really recommend wearing a long sleeve under I think that would kind of make it tacky mm, personal preference I don't know but I think that for a layering piece it's absolutely stunning it's super duper cute it's definitely worth it I don't think it was that expensive i did get mine in a size small it fit great it's very nice and the quality is definitely there on this top okay so for the very last piece that i got i got this very nice oatmeal knit ribbed see-through mesh type of shirt it is very similar to the shirts that i showed you guys from my previous hauls except this one has more of a mock neck and it kind of has the crinkled up sleeves it's super duper cute is it the most rational thing to wear in the fall time no. But once again, it's very cute if you do live in warmer weather or you're going somewhere where you can take your jacket off and just wear your top. I definitely think that that would be super duper cute. I wore it with just a regular bralette in an oatmeal cream shade from H&M. I couldn't find the exact color of this top on Zara, so I'm hoping that you guys can find it. I did find it in green and orange. If I do find it, I'll of course have it linked down below. I did get it in a size small. I wish they had it in an extra small. That would have been even better, but this top really is not necessary. It's just cute. Okay, so that was a pretty quick Zara haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is definitely a little bit different. I didn't have a lot of wins in this one, if that makes sense. I wasn't dying over the pieces in this haul. Maybe you guys have been, but I just know when I shop there, I usually see so much more stuff than what I saw this time around. Hopefully the next visit will be a lot better. But yeah, at first I was not going to even put this video out because I'm like, I don't know if it's even worth it. I'm not dying over the stuff. They might not like it. I don't know. Maybe you guys will love some of these pieces, but I feel like showing you guys the misses and also some of the wins is beneficial to you to stop you from wasting your money if you do go shop at Zara. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you all. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye, guys.